it's very interesting that within the like Mexican rap community over the last couple of years, we've seen so many different like uh, Instagram accounts and different like podcasts and different like commentators and people making videos about different types of content and talking about all these different rappers and shit. How tapped into all that kind of shit are you? And do you feel like it's overall like healthy for the Bro, scene? Bro, I'm not even tapped in like that. Really? I'd be asking him like, hey, fool, what's, what's going on right now? You know, when I was in prison, I'd be like, hey, fool, what's going on? I ain't nothing shit, Bobby. All right. I guess. And... That's it, bro. I don't even. I don't be knowing shit will happen on the outside. Mm. You know, like I missed a lot of shit. You know. Are you just like in your own world, even when you're on the outside, or is it just the fact that when you're locked up, you just don't pay attention to anything? I'm just like hella used to being by myself and shit. So I just, I just be chilling. I don't really be doing much and shit. Like now, bro, I just came home. Like, bro, it just feels good to be in bed. <laughs> you know, like. I be laying in bed and shit. Like last time I had Zay, Slabs, everybody, bro. You know, they were right there in the house and shit. They were in the lab and I was just like, hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be gone for a minute, be in bed. <laughs> just go lay down. Yeah. I'll fall asleep, walk back like fuck, five hours later and shit. You know, where you go? Oh, my bad. I see rappers like get out of jail and just go. They're in the mall. They're in the fucking. There's the studio. They're Fuck in the that. club. We tried that last time, bro. I'm, I'm shopping online now. We tried that <laughs> last time. We were over here tripping on everybody. I'm spazzing on everybody near. Like fuck that. That was cool. Yeah, I mean, I can understand wanting to like go out there and be with the people and shit. It's not but bad. just imagine going out when you're kicking off a perk. Yeah, you're just all cranky. I mean, like, so you just oh. always kicking perks. Sometimes, but it's like not even because I was always having one. <laughs> right. You know, like, I was always like, oh. You don't know how bro. bad it is until you run out. Not even that, bro, because I would never run out. Right. You know? I be sometimes hiding from me and shit, but. Right. You know, like, oh, everything's cool. You know? Like, I don't know what it would be like to not have coffee. I just haven't had to oh. go without it, like, ever. I don't know. Maybe I would be all fed up having to sleep all day. I think I'd be all right. I probably wouldn't have the energy to do podcasts all day, though. Yeah. I'd probably be nodding off in the pod. I don't, I don't really like coffee like that. No? Energy drinks? None of I that shit? That. Like, I like coffee, but it got to be, like, stupid sweet. Oh, really? Yeah, like, <laughs> so, like, super milky and hella, like, fucking sweet. I used to be like that. You know, like, I can't stand this, like, like just the normal coffee. I put like a little tiny bit of cream in it now. Like the homie when I was inside, he'd be like, he'd be like, you want some coffee? I'll taste it. What the fuck, man? Mm -hmm. I'll make my coffee and be like, man, okay, like, all right. But so you're n you're not smoking weed the whole time you're locked up, and then you get out and you just immediately get back to it. Nah, I was still smoking weed on the inside. Oh really? Yeah, I was smoking wax. Just a lot more difficult. Wax is the move in there. Just because it's, like, small and easy to transport? Fuck, I don't even know. I was just buying shit, everything, bro. Like, just buying the wax, every single thing. Everything they got for sale? Nah, just the wax. Like, oh, okay. every, every, all the wax. But then how you smoke it? You got, like, a little torch set up, or? Nah, it's like, fuck, I say shit. You don't know want to air it up? Apple hairs and shit. The apple, you know, the bottom of the apple got some hairs on that motherfucker. Uh-huh. You know? I tried tea, but that shit's nasty. <laughs> so I just do the bottom of the apples. Oh, the... The apple bomb mm -hmm. type move. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I haven't had to do that in a while. That shit had me like, bro, that's when I really realized like, damn, nigga, you're Chito Ranas, bro. <laughs> you can't be smoking wax out of an apple in prison. <laughs> nah, I was rolling joints, brother. Like, I was uh, rolling joints off that shit. Okay. I'll be peeling like 15, 20 apples just to roll one joint. <laughs> you know, I'll be smoking and shit. Then like, I'll be in my bunk and I'll be like, just realizing like, damn, bro, like, you're in jail, bro. I think I misunderstood before. I thought you were talking about smoking out of the apple. Nah, like you just took the bottom out, you scrape it with a pancake. You feel me? You roll that shit up. And just, oh, okay. You know, spoo back. Wow, that's gangster. Um, where are you at with the Swifty Blue Saga? You guys on good terms or it's not happening? Not worth talking. You know, like, good luck to him. You know, like, I'm on a different shit right now. Mm -hmm. I listened to an interview clip of him talking about you, and it, it felt like he was, like, showing you your respect and everything. Yeah, I do too, though. You feel me? Like, you know, like, 
Yeah. Definitely. Um, so were you locked up when Suede died? Yeah. What was that like for you? That shit was crazy. Cause here I was in prison too, and it's just like I was chilling. And were you locked in with him from early on in his career, or how did you first start talking? I met, I met his, his like his right hand type shit, like his dog father Polo. I met that from reception. Yeah. And you know, like I met that for a yard and shit. And we just always talk about like, yeah, we gonna do music together and shit, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when I got shipped out to a different prison. Bro hit me up, you know, swayed me up. He's like, damn, you about to touch down. I was like, yeah. No. When that happened, I was like, damn. Like, I didn't believe it, bro. I was just like, damn. Like, just that he went out like that? Just that he died, bro, like. Life is too short. Yeah. You know? You got to try to do is you got to try to make this shit count. You know, like, this is my last chance. You feel me? I got to make this one count. Mm. You feel me? Like, that's why I ain't trying to fuck with the drugs heavy. You know, like, I ain't trying to fucking die off that shit. 